Hey everybody, I'm going to make a quick tutorial on the kiosk mode within Denise. There's a few things you need to do in order to get started. Uh, first thing I like to do, everyone has a different setup. I like to go to the voice recognition tab inside the advanced settings and turn off the active voice recognition. Now what that will do is uh, that won't have her speaking as normal when you're inside the kiosk mode. For example, if you're talking to her within the kiosk mode, she might think you're actually talking to her. So I, to avoid any uh, mistakes or errors or whatever, I just turn it off. Um, now, since I'm not using the uh, voice recognition, I'll normally control alt delete. I don't know if you can see this from where I'm at on the uh, screen recorder, but then I'll go and turn off the NAT speak. Um, I believe I turned it off already, but NAT speak is for the Dragon uh, integration. It's a resource hog. And for those who don't have uh, that great of systems, I mean, it's, it's helpful because it hogs up a lot of resources. So I suggest turning that off. So now we'll go to the Kiosk Studio. So there it is. Now Kiosk can, can work uh, do all sorts of things, especially beneficial to like uh, for like businesses and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna make something real quick, uh, real quick and easy to show you how to navigate through all this. And ideally, I would like to see Denise uh, in the lobby of a company, you know, acting as a receptionist. You know, that's ideal for me. So this is it. This is the uh, the layout of what it is. It's much different than what it was in the beginning of Denise's uh, life. All right, let's get started. I'm going to pretend that I have a company and I want Denise to greet my visitors when they walk in the door. Now, you can do this several different ways. You can have a webcam where, as you see right here, that when someone steps in front of the uh, computer or the screen where Denise is located, she will automatically detect that motion and begin her presentation. Or you could have her uh, with a touch screen or something and have a button where the guest actually touches the button to begin the uh, the presentation. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a button method. So I'm going to find this little button that I have. Nothing too fancy. So I'm going to go there. So now, as you can see, it says right here, clicking this button, the presentation will go to slide two. I have not made slide two yet. Let's deal with this first. Um, switch slide when pressing the button. I have a button right here. So now, I'm going to say, uh, let's add some text. Okay, uh, nothing too fancy. And I'll go over here. It says, uh, Welcome to the company lobby. Press button below to begin. All right, I'll get it a little bit bigger. So now, so now when uh, they come in, the first thing they'll see is this. I mean, I can put a background and make it a lot more cool, or put a logo in the background or whatever, but I'm not going to do that because this is going to be real simple. So the uh, customer comes in or whatever, and they see this, so they press the button. Now I'm going to start with uh, a new page in this presentation that we're currently working on. I'm going to go over here to the storyline. This is the first page we're on. This is the intro of the presentation. Now, my uh, kiosk mode presentation is going to have interaction because I want people to be able to talk to Denise when they come into the company lobby. However, your presentation, let's say your company just wants to give people information or whatever, you do not have to have any sort of interaction. You can just do her voice and text and just make it look nice and neat. So <clears throat> I'm going to go to new. That brings up a new a new plane to work on. I'm gonna put like a, a little background, or whatever. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna double click that, and look, there's a little background. You can create your own, or you can add your own pictures, or logo, or whatever, whatever you want. So um, as you can see, here it is so far. Now, let's say you want her to say something. All right. Um, you go here and you click on her face. Now the speak field will come up and you can have her 
express emotion or uh, have a different attitude or what, whatever, whatnot. I'm not going to really mess with that. What I'm going to do, I just want her to talk. All right. So I'm going to type in what I want her to say. Uh, about this is just a test of screen number two in the demo. That's pretty basic, right? So uh, when it reaches this part of the story in the presentation, she will say this now. Um, not everyone will understand what she says, so uh, not everyone can keep up. So uh, what I like to do is I like to add some text on everything she says, I'll, I'll put it in text just in case you know, some people need a little help. <clears throat> so you can put it wherever I want. Where it is. So now, when it reaches the second part of the storyboard, she will say this, and this is a copy of what she just said. All right, and you can do all sorts of things. You can, mine's very basic. You can add all kind of stuff, make her say all kind of different things, and all that. This is just the basics of the basics. So, all right, I've gone ahead and fast forwarded this video and made additional slides on the storyboard. As you can see, <clears throat> nothing too fancy. So, um, now we're going to go into toggling in between the slides. Now, when you want the presentation to continue, now you can go to properties. Now, I selected this one so far, this number two demo screen or whatever. Now, I have it selected when wizard finishes talking. That means when she's done saying this, she will move on to the next one. Now, on the first one, if you remember, you have to interact with it to start it. So you have to press this button. So I have press a button, switch slide when pressing a button. So when you press this button, it starts the presentation. And these are all when she finishes saying whatever she's saying. <clears throat> and once again, to, to rehash what I said, if you want to make her say something, you just click on her face and the speak field will come up. Type in whatever you want. You can do expressions or animations and all that good stuff. Um, also, I people are very visual, so I like to add text to whatever she's saying on what storyboard slide. Um, so just add text and just type it in here, just a little field for that. Make it bigger and all that stuff. Now, um, make this what you will. You can do all sorts of creative stuff. I'm actually interested in seeing what some of you guys come up with. Uh, I'm going to exit out of this project and open up one that I already made. It's a little bit better than this one. This one's kind of you know, plain Jane and boring. Uh, now my other one is also real simple and basic, but it's a little bit better. And I'll open that right now. All right, I went ahead and opened up my personal little project. It's a little bit better than the one previous. It's still very simple. Um, and this is my ideal situation to use her in the lobby of a company. So a lot like the first one, you know, she's going to say welcome to the company lobby, press play. So you have to press the play button to start the presentation. And she's going to interact with the uh, client that's in the lobby. So you go up here and press play. She said press play to begin. So I just entered the lobby. I'm here to see Mr. Johnson. Yes, at 1 p.m. Thank you very much.
Thank you. I'll do that. All right, that was it. Notice you cannot hear her talking it's because I'm recording audio from my voice right now, and it couldn't play her and me recording at the same time. But whenever you're not recording like I am right now, you'll hear her talking as normal. So there's also some lag in her uh, mouth movement. That's also having to do with the software I'm using to record uh, this project. It's not really Denise's fault. It's the software. But that's pretty much it. Whenever you finish, you hit save and... Uh, you just created a project inside of the Kiosk Studio.